Police say this shadowy figure walking calmly away from a car is James Horn, just minutes after he murdered his girlfriend and her son. This is that same car today, now back with the Sutton family. Although Horn was killed in a shootout with police two months later, Sandra's mother, Zach's grandmother, says Horn still haunts her. It just seemed like everywhere I turn, it's just like, okay, you know, I've seen people that look like him. I guess it's just in my mind. Sandra and Horn had lived together happily in this Sedalia home until an argument last winter. Sandra says Horn forced her to live in this box and told her if she ever left, he'd kill her. Three weeks later, Clinton police say he did just that at her brother's Clinton home. They believe Zach was killed because he was there. Horn was shot and killed a few days later. Lieutenant Sonny Lynch says guns found on Horn had been stolen from Sedalia. One of the guns that was stolen was the, the 40 caliber Glock that, that he uh, used to murder those two folks with. Police say they now believe Horn rode this bike from Sedalia to Clinton in a well planned crime. It still makes the Sutton family uneasy. Since the murders here, Sandra's brother has been unable to return. In fact, the family tells us they've all struggled. Every night I don't sleep very well. I, it's frightening to me. But police say they believe the threat to the Suttons died with James Horn, and they say all evidence indicates he acted alone. In Clinton, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News.